Hey gang, it's Ted Gravelin with the Ted Cast for today. On my whiteboard behind me, I have drawn a diagram of an air conditioning system. Uh, but it's not exactly an air conditioning system because it's actually a diagram of an air conditioning contracting business. And there's a part that fits in for each piece that we have there. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to show you guys how the whole darn thing is a system. And I get these kind of questions all the time where I get someone that may call me up and say something like, hey, I need more business. I think I need more customers. I want to run some ads. And I'm like, well, that's cool. Um, do you have the rest of this thing built together? Because the ads are a lot like a thermostat. And I don't know about you guys, but when I install a system, uh, a real air conditioning system, the thermostat's kind of like the last thing I install. I build the whole thing, we put it all together, we connect it all, and then you go and hang the thermostat on the wall, you connect the wires, and then you turn it on. The thermostat is where you turn it on and off, that's where you turn it up and down, how long is it going to run. That's kind of like the ads. You don't run ads if you don't have the rest of it running the way it's supposed to. So let's kind of talk about how it fits together here and some of the different things. Now this isn't all of it, but it's an idea of what's going on here. So the first thing you have to have is an evap coil. And that's kind of like a sales process. If you don't have a sales process that you can consistently rely on to close sales when you have a customer in front of you, then you ain't going to get any result out the other end, are you? Um, now you've got over here. You've got some scheduling procedures. How are you going to schedule customers to go out and do sales and run service calls and that kind of stuff? If you don't have that going on, then you ain't going to get to where you're going to have a need for a sales process. Okay? Over here is a compressor. In this case, it's the offer. What is the offer your business makes? And I see people trying to run ads where their offer is non-existent. They don't have a compressor. So basically the offer, if, if you don't have an offer, then it defaults to, here's my phone number, gee, I hope you call me someday. That is not an offer, and that's why the marketing for a company doesn't work, because you don't have a reason to call your company. In this case, you don't have any kind of engine driving this thing. So you got to have an offer that's good. Do you have a clear, concise offer that customers, that you can tell customers that they totally go, oh, I get it, I totally get why I would call you. Um, we have over here the TXV because of course we all know you have to have a TXV and what the TXV does is it measures how fast things are flowing through your business, right? It measures that things, how fast things are flowing through the coil. It's got a bulb on the other side and it adjusts and stuff. And these are the KPIs. Those are the things like what's your cost per lead? Uh, what's your cost per sale? How much are you spending for uh, your advertising? What are you doing for your cost and that kind of thing for how is it, how's the whole thing running? How's the refrigerant flow going through? How's the flow of everything going through your business? If you're not measuring that, then you can't adjust it, right? And if you're doing it well, it adjusts automatically, okay? So then you have over here a pricing. Pricing is like the refrigerant charge. If you have improper charge, you do not have a good system. It doesn't operate well. If it's underpriced or undercharged, then it's not going to run very well and create as much output as it should. If you have an overcharge, then it's going to clog up somewhere else and it's not going to give you the output that you should. So you have to have your pricing right and it's not about measuring your pricing based on somebody else's business like you don't call up your competitors and you go how much are you charging and then i'll just guess i'll do the same thing that's a little bit like doing it beer can cold where you just put your hand on it ah close enough that's not close enough if you know how you're what you're doing with an air conditioning system you're supposed to put the gauges on it you're supposed to get the thermometers out you're supposed to know how to check a charge with actual data real data for that system and adjust it up and down properly you got to set your prices right then you got to have power electrical power to run this sucker okay and effectively in an air conditioning campaign uh, air conditioning company marketing campaign it's cash it's how much cash do you have to put into this thing to make the whole thing operate as far as driving business and marketing problem is if it's not very efficient if you've built it badly it takes a lot more cash a lot more power to run it 
if you have got it built very efficiently where all the parts are working, you know, hey, I got really good scheduling. When I get a lead, it's got good sales process. My pricing is proper. I'm measuring my stuff that's going on. When I'm doing that, I can spend a whole lot less money to make it all happen and get the same result out the other end, right? So that's the trick of getting the power to run is how much money is it going to cost you to make this run? And if it's parts of it are inefficient, it can be a problem. Finally, we get to the thermostat. That's where you finally run your ads, okay? So don't start with that first. You gotta build that part last. You gotta build the rest of these first. So how do you know if an air conditioner is running well or how do you know if a business is running well? Well, we do a tune-up, okay? So I've decided to do something new. I haven't done this before. Um, I'm gonna do a business tune-up. Now, what does a tune-up do, right? A tune-up is not something that fixes problems, but it is something that finds out where the problems are and maybe does minor tweaks to it in the, in the process. But ultimately, this is where if you're doing an air conditioning tune-up, you go check it out and say, hey, look, the amp draw is really high on this motor. I wonder if the coil is clogged. There's a, an indicator that would say, this measurement that's showing me what's going on here leads me to I know what the fix would be. Um, so for example, we can do measurements on a business and we can say, what's going on? Why are the sales lacking? Uh, we can say, what's going on? Why is the pricing off? We can say, well, tell me what's going on. We can tell whether or not you're actually measuring KPIs or are you just letting it flow through and you're not doing anything. So I'm gonna do business tune-up. And the only way that I know to do this right now is to do it one-on-one, -on -one, just like having a technician come out. So if you want to do a business tune-up, I do it for free, absolute for free. And all you got to do is click the link that I'm going to include below. And the link is going to, the link is going to take you to a place where you can stick in your email address. You pick the time, you pick the uh, you know, time to do it, and we'll get on the phone and we'll, I'll go through uh, maybe uh, eight or ten questions about what's going on with your business. We will talk about it. Where are you? Um, have opportunity to improve your business. What's your deficiencies and things like that? Just like an air conditioning tune-up, you know, like an eight-point tune-up or a twelve-point tune-up. Well, we're going to run through a series of questions, and there are going to be things like, you know, what's your cost per sale, and do you know how to figure out what your pricing is, and do you know how to figure out where your sales process might be failing? Do you figure out how to figure out if your marketing is any good? Do you actually have an offer that's worth a darn? So we're going to talk about that stuff and do it for free. So again, just click below if you want the link. It's tedgravelin.com forward slash tune and that'll take you to where you just stick in your email address you pick the time ask you a couple questions on a form and then we will jump on the phone at the time that that is and I'll give you a call and we can talk about what's going on for you so this is how it works if you're missing one of these pieces that's the problem it's probably not the thermostat just like when a customer calls up and says hey it's not working I think my thermostat's broken we generally shake our head and go no that's probably not your problem probably your problem is one of these other things not working and we'll find out where those are and if it is your ads we can talk about that too um, but you can show me what you got and we'll we'll talk about it so go ahead uh, click the link that I've got below and uh, we'll talk soon